Joshua loves spending his vacation at his family ranch. The ranch is part of a short grass prairie ecosystem. Like all ecosystems, this ecosystem has abiotic and biotic components. What are abiotic components of this ecosystem? Air, water, light, and soil are some examples of things that were never living. These are the abiotic components of this ecosystem. Abiotic means not of life. The people, the animals, the plants, and the food on the table are either currently living, were once living, or came from living things. These are the biotic components. Biotic means of life. Individual living thing, such as a prairie dog, is an organism. Many organisms of the same species that live together in the same area make up a population. All the populations of organisms living together in the same area form a community. The community, along with the abiotic components, make up an ecosystem. Individual living thing. The biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem are interdependent. For example, in the short grass prairie ecosystem, the burrowing owls depend on the prairie dogs. They use abandoned prairie dog burrows as their homes. Prairie dogs depend on plants for food and on rain for water. Plants depend on prairie dogs to loosen the soil. This makes it easier for plants to grow. Plants also depend on abiotic factors such as sunlight, air, rain, and soil to grow and to make their own food. Today we learned that an ecosystem is made up of abiotic and biotic components that constantly interact with each other. Biotic components are either living, once living, or a product of living things. Abiotic components have never been alive. The structural hierarchy within an ecosystem in ascending order is organism, population, community, and ecosystem.